This is gonna be a hard one to explain. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today is a very special day. Today is a very elusive, might I even say supercar kind of day. Today is the day that I never thought I ever was gonna have the opportunity to do. I mean, look at the thumbnail title, you guys. I can't believe that I have been invited. We gotta go. First to the hotel, then to the GM Proving Grounds. I have signed my life away saying that I will not disclose anything of what is going on. It is top secret today, boys. So I had to put the camera down for a minute when someone walked by because I just can't say it out loud. Please say it, please say it, please say it, please Turn say it. left onto Woodward Avenue, I then your destination is on the right. <laughs> Wait, you guys, I've always wanted to go to Woodward Dream Cruise, and I am on Woodward Avenue, which is where the event takes place. I wasn't able to go this year, but next year, this is something that's on my bucket list. Whoa, Detroit City, we out here. You don't know what we're doing today? I have no idea what we're doing today. You want to take a guess? Uh, cool stuff, cool cars, and a cool person. We're gonna go see the new Z06. Oh, shit! And the Z07. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're supposed to be there at 2 o'clock. We found out that they are dynoing the prototype Z06 max RPM rips. So we left early. We're bombing straight to the gym for run so that we can hear this. We are here at the Proving Grounds. We just got here right in time and they are waiting. The whole team is waiting to do a cold start on the Z06 prototype. The circle track is where I drove the E10 and the Bolt when I was here last time. So we filmed around that. And today, I think we're gonna be around here. You wanna hear it? Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. All right, you can start the car. Oh, yeah, this is so cool. The suspense is killing me. That startup sounded so good. The front end is so much more aggressive and it has like a honeycomb vent in the front right in the lower bit there. The side skirt too on the door, it even has a more aggressive swoop into the vent. When they first announced the C8R, and we first heard the engine, I knew, I knew what you guys, I knew the engine that was in the C8R was what was going to be in the Z06. And that's what it is. 5.5 liter flat plane, naturally aspirated V8. Oh. In case you guys are wondering, this dyno room is used to develop and perfect the sound of GM vehicles. Notice there's actually no one in the dyno when they're doing the polls. Everything is controlled on the computer here. Here's the display, and then here's the actual vehicle spy. A thermal camera here, and then some cameras here. I'm trying to convince them to let me do a poll in the car. <laughs> when I walked in, I was so excited to see the camo car on the dyno that I didn't even notice what's under the cover. I, they won't let me do it. I gotta wait, I have to be patient, but they're gonna uncover it later. I originally was not even supposed to be here for the dyno, but when I found out it was happening, I rushed straight over here because I had, I had to hear some 8600 max RPM hits on the dyno. So I'm very glad that we came here for that. Alright, 
so that was it for the ropes. We're gonna be taking the Z06 off now and uh, I think putting the Z07 on, which I think is under that tarp. Door handle, same spot in the vent here. There's a more aggressive side skirt here. Comes out, it almost reminds me a little bit of the ground effects for the C8 Stingray. It's so hard with the rep on it to see how it's actually gonna come out in final design. This is still a prototype, but there's a line here. The rear quarter fender, it looks wider to me. It looks wider to me and it actually, this line here meets the door. Again, it's tripping my eyes to see the camo to not really be able to tell, but I'm just guessing based off of leaning over to work on the car, that it's definitely wider in the rear. Different rivets in the back here. I wonder if this is for the wing. You got a sticker patch here, which could be the mounting location for it. The deck lid for the most part looks the same. The bumper, you see the quad tip exhaust. That is crazy. And a little bit more aggressive of aero in the rear. <laughs> Looks the same as the Stingray, but I do love the white interior. This is plain. It's almost as if the line here is a little sharper than it is on the Stingray. I could be completely wrong. It's so hard to tell when you have a camo wrap and it's dimly lit. They really don't want you to notice little things on the car, but overall, she sounds amazing. No one can say that this isn't a supercar. This is competing with other supercars. You know what I could do that I would get yelled at? Maybe kicked out? I could pop the hatch right now. But I can do it in the back too. No, I can't. Do you think this is a bad idea? right? I already got my order in. <laughs> so this here is Sydney Molnar. She is the performance integration engineer and she specializes in noise and vibrations. And you worked on the Z06. Yes. You worked on the Z07 too that's behind us. Yes. Cindy and her team are the reason that the C8 sounds so good. The whole reason that we're here today is because we're filming a short documentary and a commercial out of it that's gonna go live during the World Series. And right now they're kicking us out <laughs> because they're gonna take the Z06 that is under the cover, they're gonna put it on the dyno, and I'm going to get the first look for myself looking at it here in a minute when they load it on, but we gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for everything today. I so look forward to talking with you more on this. Due to weather restrictions, there's been a change of plan. So we're actually gonna look at the Z07 prototype right now. We're gonna go on a drive with Cindy and then we're going to end up at the dyno. So uh, I guess this is my first time seeing it. This is the prototype, so it still has the camo wrap on it. Oh, we got the Z06 and the Z07 camo cars right here. Oh my goodness. Let's go, first time in the Z07, about to take it around the track. We're gonna do a top speed run right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See if we can hit about, you know, 200. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Can we do launch control?
So I just got my first drive, passenger drive impression on the Z07 and you guys, this has met every single expectation that I have ever had and I am so excited for my Z06 to come in. This is, this is incredible. Look at this, there's 345 tires in the rear. These wheels are painted, but the production models are actually gonna be carbon fiber. There's a carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber front splitter and lip. I knew it was wider just from where I was standing on it because I'm so used to working on mine that I felt slightly further away from the engine. Uh, and it was such a trip too, because I am so used to the car just revving to 65 and that's it. But when I'm in the car and it hits 65 and then it keeps going and then it goes to 8600 before it shifts and it is screaming at the same time. It's orgasmic. I don't think I can say that. It's car porn, guys. This is the definition of car porn. And I always said the Stingray was a supercar. If you wanna argue with me on that, fine. But you cannot argue with me that this isn't a supercar. Look out, Ferrari, Lamborghini. Corvette's coming for you. I'm in heaven. Thank you, Chevrolet, for this opportunity. We gotta go, but I cannot leave without showing you guys the sweet, sweet exterior notes of the Z07. Hit it! <laughs> See the non camo version? Frick yeah, I am. Oh my god. just wrapped filming for the Z06 and to see in front of me is absolutely incredible. There are so many details that even look at this. Do you remember when the camel car is like kind of feeling around the door and I was like, huh, it feels a little different. I never in a million years would have imagined that they extended this trim out to here and just the carbon fiber side skirt. The wheels are beautiful. I was wowed by this wing. I love the sleek wing designs and again of course you know the center exit exhaust these bezels the housing for it are actually positioned in a way where it pushes the noise back and into the cabin of the car i thought that was super cool to hear more about what cindy and her team were able to do just for that perfect like sound and vibration of a car which is some stuff that you usually don't even think about i'm getting out of breath even just looking at this now for the c8 stingray you guys know here there's no vent, there's no opening, but on the Z06 there is, and it looks like that's a radiator, it's cooling, it's a condenser, there's something up tucked behind the front there. So I'm gonna guess it is a radiator, and I'm gonna guess that's for additional cooling for the car, so pretty sick. Look at how much wider the front fender is. I was taken aback when I first saw that, and yes, I was right, the rear is wider. Definitely, definitely wider. We popped the hatch on the prototype. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not, but we're popping the hatch on the final product. Ooh, look at this. Wow, this is crazy. This is awesome. Dual port intake, flat plane crank. Oh, LT6, LT6. I'm so excited that they want the flat plane crank. This car sounds so good. You wouldn't believe it's coming from a Corvette. I'm so excited to take delivery of my Z06. You guys have no idea. Alright you guys, that is a wrap for today's episode. I have to give a huge thank you to Chevrolet and giving me this incredible opportunity to see not only the Z06, but also the Z07. It's been a long, tired day, and I'm pretty sure anything I say after this will not make sense. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't already, please subscribe. You crew, we out here. Bye! <laughs>